Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. Spain, an important oil and gas market for Nigeria. Kiari, OPEC raises Nigeria crude oil quota to 1.799 million barrels per day. Power Minister laments poor power supply, cautions new TCN board. And now, the news in detail. The group managing director, Nigeria National Petroleum Company, NMPC Limited, Mala Mele Kiari, has described Spain as a strategically important oil and gas market for Nigeria as 26% of all liquefied natural gas and crude oil produced in Nigeria end up in the European country. Kiari disclosed this while addressing Nigerian and Spanish business leaders on investment opportunities in the Nigerian oil and gas industry in Madrid, Spain, on the sidelines of President Muhammadu Buhari's state visit to Spain on Wednesday. A statement by NMPC Limited in Abuja said Kiari reiterated his commitment to sustain the strategic energy partnership between Nigeria and Spain. He explained that the world would need energy for today and for the future in industries such as power, IT, automobile and others. We know that energy transition is real. We know that net zero by 2050 to 2060 is real but it doesn't mean zero hydrocarbons in 2050 to 2060 it means that you are going to have a cleaner use of hydrocarbons Kiari added <laughs> The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, has increased Nigeria crude oil quota from 1.772 million barrels per day for June 2022 to 1.799 million barrels per day in July 2022. According to the World Oil Supply Governing Body, the raise was by 27,000 barrels, translating to 3.4% increase in the month of July. OPEC disclosed the news in its press statement on its 29th OPEC and non-OPEC ministerial meeting held via video conference on Thursday. In the statement, OPEC also approved the highest production volume of 10.833 million barrels per day for Saudi Arabia and Russia. With the increase, Nigeria tops the list of its African counterparts, followed by Angola that got approval for 1.502 million barrels per day. <laughs> Viewed as the weakest link in Nigeria's electricity supply chain, the Minister of Power, Abubakar Aliu, has charged the new Board of Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, to strengthen the transmission network to boost power supply in the country. Aliu, who gave the charge in Abuja at the inauguration ceremony of the new governing body of TCN yesterday, lamented that poor electricity supply was one of the major challenges affecting economic development in the country. He explained that Nigeria has been hovering around 5,000 megawatts of power, adding the current level of capacity is not enough to support the economy and the nation's population. Aliyu, while inaugurating the new board members of TCN, charged them to deliver adequate and reliable electricity to Nigerians. <laughs> The Minister of Energy and Mineral Development, Ruth Nankabiwa, has lashed out at climate activists who are campaigning against the East African Crude Oil Pipeline, EACOP, saying they do not wish Uganda well. Nankabiwa said that the activists have deliberately misrepresented facts and intend to slow down the country's socio-economic development. Nankabiwa, who was addressing the House of Bishops on the developments in the oil and gas sector, regretted that a group of local and international activists are using all the means available to sabotage the Uganda's oil and gas project at this time when it has progressed from the early exploration period. She said that Uganda has put in place an enabling legal framework 
work for the participation of Ugandans in the oil and gas activities, but environmentalists and activists are instead fighting the initiative instead of taking up the available opportunities. <laughs> The European Union EU has given its final approval for sanctions including a partial ban on imports of Russian oil in response to Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Said to be EU's toughest sanctions so far, the new measures are intended to limit Russia's financing ability for the war in Ukraine. Recently, EU leaders agreed to an embargo to cut Russian crude oil imports by sea to member states by the end of 2022 and refined petroleum products in a period of eight months. <music> The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has raised the limit for highly secured online funds transfer from 100 million naira to 250 million naira for companies and from 10 million naira to 25 million naira for individuals. This is according to a recently released circular by the Central Bank of Nigeria, signed by Musa I. Jimo, Director, Payment System Management Department. The revision would take effect on the operations of the NIBSS Instant payment system and other electronic payment options with similar features in Nigeria. The CBN stated that NIBSS instant payment systems and other electronic payment options must accept indemnity from customers for highly secured online funds transfer above 1 million naira for individual and 10 million naira for corporates subject to a maximum of 25 million naira for individuals and 250 million naira for corporates. The Apex Bank also told the online payment operators to adhere to multiple factor authentication mfa for highly secured online funds transfer before we end the news here's a recap of our headlines spain an important oil and gas market for nigeria kiari OPEC raises Nigeria crude oil quota to 1.799 million barrels per day. Power Minister laments poor power supply, cautions new TCN board. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good evening. <laughs>